Um, yeah, so it, it's it's good news. You're absolutely right. Um, it, it's been a long time in the making, and it's it was lovely to see her yesterday. Yesterday was the first time I'd seen her for two years, um, and she was looking well and, and obviously very happy seeing those photographs, talking to um, with Gabriella and holding her and seeing all the family again. Um, yeah, it would be have nice to have been there. Um, it feels like this is a step forwards. Hopefully, it's um, you know it's only three days. Hopefully, it'll be longer than three days, um, and hopefully, it's it's the beginning of uh, um, of the end for us. Um, we don't want to count anything just yet. Um, yes, yeah, so so I'm I'm hopeful. I'm excited. Um, I would have liked to have been there, but um, you know, more importantly, I'd also like them home as soon as possible. And it's unclear uh, at the moment why the Iranian authorities have made this move now, where they've chosen to, to take this step. But if we take a step back from this, uh, do you feel encouraged uh, from the change of leadership in the Foreign Office, the UK Foreign Office, uh, as regards your wife's case? Um, look, you're right. I think it's perhaps partly to do with with Eid, partly to do with other things that have been happening between the UK and, uh, and Iran and, and lots of factors. And, and yes, I think certainly Jeremy Hunt, as the new foreign secretary, has been a good luck charm for us. Um, and, and we were pretty despondent a few weeks ago. I think the former foreign secretary did his best, um, but, but in the end it didn't work out. Um, and Jeremy Hunt has come along. He's been very strong on Nathalie's case, made some very clear statements even yesterday about how she was innocent and it should be, become permanent. Um, and and certainly he's behind closed doors been very convincing that uh, um, that he'll take a case seriously. So the, the stones that you just saw, um, we gave him one of those stones that we painted and he put it next to the pictures of his own family. So it felt like he cares and, and, and so far we've seen some fruits. We spoke to your lawyer uh, a, a short while ago uh, and I just wonder what are your next steps together to try and make this into a permanent situation, this release? Well, it, it, I mean, it's, it's a very good question. I, I think the very next steps are to, to see if we can extend the furlough beyond three days. So currently she has to go back to prison on Sunday. That's quite standard. It's quite standard for it to be extended. But it's not guaranteed. So that's the first step. And, and then more broadly, we've built a campaign that's been campaigning and complaining and pushing and pressuring. Them. I was expecting to have to have a big fight with uh, with both governments, if I'm honest. Um, it, and now we need to look and see what does this mean and, and how we recalibrate. Um, I've been very clear that I'll keep campaigning until she's home in the UK, so that's what I will keep doing.